Tasmania and Queensland, provide updates on the migration program. Today's video update discusses changes in Tasmania and Queensland's skilled migration programs. Tasmania has a limited quota, remaining and concentrates on priority cases first, while Queensland is unlikely to be available to offshore candidates this financial year. Let's look at the update of Tasmania's 2021-2022 Skilled Migration Program. Tasmania has revealed a limited quota left in its Skilled Migrant Program. For the subclass 491 visa, Tasmania had 2,200 places, of which it has used 1,274 places. There were 1,100 places open for the subclass 190 visa, of which Tasmania has used 731 places. Therefore, less than 1,300 places are left, and Tasmania has obtained almost 1,000 new applications since December 2021. Tasmania still needs to finalize approximately 300 applications, which implies that it is likely that the state will significantly surpass its available quota. There are three priorities that Tasmania intends to focus on when organizing its quota of places. So what are the three priorities of Tasmania? Applicants with employment and a skills assessment correlated to critical roles such as allied health, health, infrastructure, and engineering directly aligned with that role. Applicants with employment and a skills assessment correlated to the Tasmanian Skilled Occupation List. Applicants with employment directly connected to their nominated skills assessment. Any remaining applications that are considered appropriate will be ranked competitively and assessed for any remaining nomination places. Outcomes for candidates who are not in the three priority areas may not be available until later in the program year, which terminates on June 30, 2022. So what is the employment criteria to work in Tasmania? Employment, as mentioned in the priority areas mentioned earlier, is defined as employment with a well-established Tasmanian business operating in Tasmania for at least 12 months. Tasmania defines a well-established businesses as one that diligently operates in Tasmania with the following. Tasmanian address as a registered business location, a permanent business signage, an active online existence, marketing and advertising. A local landline contact number. A steady office space, not a residential address, that is not virtual or casual including corporate or co-shared offices. A permanent representation of workers at the stated business location. Additionally, employment must be full-time for the working in Tasmania categories. However, it can be part-time, at least 20 hours, for Tasmanian graduates if that employment has been a minimum of three months duration. Now let us move towards the Queensland state nominations in the 2021-2022 migration program year. Due to the recent increased number of applications for Queensland state nomination from onshore temporary migrants working and living in Queensland, it's unlikely that Migration Queensland will open to offshore skilled candidates this financial year. However, this does not comprise of business candidates. Migration Queensland is still open and processing business applications from offshore. Our today's video update ends here. If this video was helpful, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more updates. Thanks for watching.